Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you need more help, visit the description below this video. There's going to be a number of ways that you can get in contact with, you, with me to get more help with your soccer coaching business. Now, in today's presentation, I'm going to be talking about four simple marketing strategies that you can use to take your co soccer coaching business to the next level. So part of my work every single day is I speak to coaches, I work with coaches, and over the, the years, uh, something that I've helped a lot of soccer coaches and trainers with to grow their training businesses is the marketing and client acquisition side. This is something I've been doing for a very long time. And this is something that I know that this presentation will help you to take your business to the next level if you follow it step by step. Okay, so there are many different ways that you can market and sell your business to prospects and potential customers. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to share with you the four very popular and very most used strategies that coaches within this industry are currently using. And what I want you to do is I want you to get a pen and paper and make some notes on the four things that I'm about to share with you today in this video, in this presentation, so you can take away. Now, again, if you need more help or you want more help with your business, if you want to work with me, okay, there's a number of ways you can do that. Visit the description below this video. There'll be ways to book a free call with me. You can send me questions to my email, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Or you can visit uh, my website, which is soccercoachingbusiness.com, where there will be more information on how I can help you to grow and scale your business to the next level. OK, so if we have a look at the presentation in front, the first one is leverage social media and content marketing. So a common problem a lot of coaches are having with their coaching business is yes, they're using social media. So yes, they have an Instagram page. Yes, they have a Facebook page. They, yes, they're promoting themselves, but they don't know how to create valuable content that engages the audiences and gets the audience to do something with them, okay? So if you've been watching this YouTube channel for a while, then you will know that I have a call to action on every single video. The call to action is to get on a call with me, to get in contact with me, to get help. So you, as a trainer and as a coach running your own business, you want your viewers to do something with you, right? You want them to reach out to you. You want them to send you a DM. You want them to react to your content and to your videos or or social media posts, okay? But in order to be able to do that, you need to work out, right, what is valuable content that I can put on either my Instagram page or my Facebook page that's going to get the parent or the person watching to do something with me, okay? So if you know that in your local area, there is a lack of uh, trainers that focus on the confidence side and how and talking about how uh, skills training helps with confidence development. This is something that you can create content on. And if you know that parents will find this valuable, then you can focus and build your business around helping players build their confidence through skills development. OK, so making sure that you create valuable content. So it's it's got to be something that your audience is struggling with. Okay, so so what I would recommend, do a thorough research in your market, see what you can bring to the market, what's what some coaches or trainers are not already doing, and create content on that. Engage your audience by having a call to action. So when you have a description in your post, make sure that that description has a call to action. 
So for example, if your child is struggling with their confidence, DM me today for a solution. Or if your child wants extra training, or if your child wants to take their game to the next level, DM me today to get a free 50% discount, right? So you've got to engage your audience in some way to get that viewer to do something with you, okay? Now, another thing I put here is you can also run social media ads. Now, I would only recommend running social media ads once you know how to close customers into your program. So if you've already worked with a lot of customers, you've got them through a process where they've shown interest, you've taken them into an evaluation session, and then you've closed them into becoming a paying customer, then once you have a process in place, that's when I would recommend you run social media ads. I wouldn't recommend you run them if you've never closed customers into your business, okay? Because this is something that, you know, social media ads are expensive. So if you don't know how to close customers into your program and convert them into being paid customers, then you're just going to waste a lot of money, okay? So those are the three ways that you can leverage social media and content marketing. Right, the second uh, strategy is offering free clinics or workshops, okay? Or essentially offering free training sessions. So host a free soccer clinic or coaching session to new prospects and advertise your business locally using online parent community groups. So a strategy that I used with my business was when I spoke to a new parent, I got to know the parent, I got to understand what the parent and the child are struggling with, what they need help, and um, if they are looking for a private trainer, I got them to a three, fifth, 30, 30 minute one-on-one -on -one session with me. That one-on-one -on -one session was an opportunity for me to demonstrate my expertise, demonstrate my coaching, demonstrate my ability to work with players. And what that ultimately did is that built trust. It built some type of faith, knowing that, right, okay, if I bring my child, this is what uh, Coach Leo is going to be like as a coach. This is what we're going to be working on. This is um, the professionalism that he brings. And then once they've got a feel to what your training or your coaching is like, then you can then close them into becoming a paid customer. The more free coaching sessions that you do, the more parents will get to know, like, and trust your coaching, okay? So you can either offer a free soccer clinic, which is essentially a group training session, or if you speak to parents that need one-on-one -on -one help, then you can offer them a taster session where they can come and taste your training. And if they like it, they can then become a customer in your business. Now, the third one, is referral program, okay? So encourage your existing clients to refer friends and family by offering incentives such as discounts on future sessions, free coaching sessions, or soccer gear, okay? So something that I did in my business was because I had all my customers on monthly subscription, if there was a client that referred someone into my soccer coaching business and they joined, they paid, I offered the, the person that referred them a free month's worth of training, okay? Now, you can offer a free month's worth of training or you can offer a discount to any other training package. So if you run camps, you can offer a discount there. If you run clinics, you can offer a discount. If it's a one-on-one -on -one, a client, then you can offer them a discount off group sessions. Right, so if just finding a way and an incentive to say, right, okay, you've referred someone to my program, and as a thank you, I want to reward you with something in return. Okay, so encourage happy clients to leave positive reviews online and share their experiences on social media. So, and again, another strategy that we use with the coaches that, that I work with is after they finish working with, with them, Okay, we get them to record a very simple one minute video of their experience with that coach. Okay, so this could be the parent talking or this could be the player. 
And it's a simple uh, testimonial to say, right, this is where my child was at when he first joined, when he or she first joined. And while working with Coach Leo over the three, six or 12 months, now this is where my child is currently at. Okay. And then always finishing it with, would you refer, would you recommend this coaching business to someone else? And then hopefully the parent will say yes. And then that will just build a lot more trust, faith, and it will get parents to realize, okay, do you know what? This is a, this is a legit thing. This is a coaching business that works with players on a professional level. And this is a business that gets results with the customers that they work with. Okay. Now, the fourth one is partner with local schools and youth sports organizations. Offer to run a few sessions at local schools or partner with youth sports clubs. Uh, schools and clubs may welcome an experienced coach to offer additional training. Okay. Now, from experience, something that works really well are private schools. Okay. Private schools are always looking for external. Uh, sports providers to come in and work with their students so if you are in an area where there are schools there are private schools then I would recommend to reach out to them and offer your services maybe go in and do a training session plus a workshop with them for free just so that they can experience what you're like okay now you can do it with public schools and you can also do it with private schools as well I've always had better experiences and better results with private schools, but I do know coaches that have gone gone into public schools and they have done um, really well as well. Okay, so that's a great way to get in front of more kids, get in front of more parents and to build your your brand and market your business to a wider audience. Okay, also going into local soccer clubs. So something that works really well, and if you if you offer a lot of value and offer something that they don't do, is going into a soccer club in your area that is run by volunteer parents, okay? So volunteer parents are normally parents that have kids on that team and that team needs to run and that parent has volunteered their time to run the team, coach the team, but... Because they're they're very busy, because they're they're a parent, okay, they might not know or have experience or knowledge about how to properly coach players. So you can come in as that specialist, as that professional, okay, and demonstrate your expertise and what start working with teams within the clubs. Okay. Now I know one coach that does this really well. What he does is he reaches out to at least three clubs or three teams per week to offer them something. Okay, it could be a free training session, could be an online workshop, it could be a presentation to their coaches, and that's that's literally how he works. He goes in, offers value, offers something, and in return, if they like what he offers, if they like what he does, then in return they will want to do something with him. OK, so these are four very simple ways to market your business, to take your soccer coaching business to the next level. And if you need more help with any of these four, OK, I do work with coaches on a one to one um, basis. So visit the description below this video. There'll be a number of ways that you can contact me, either to book a free call with me or you can visit my website to understand a little bit more how I work with coaches on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.